see you in the corner staring, motherfucker. Yeah. You should take a photo. photo. Oh no, oh no, I'm about to go, yo. Shorty drop a load and pick it up. She like a yo yo wing. I'm getting so much. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Orlando here. And I've got you guys the best a big man build in 2K17. We're gonna get right into it here. We're gonna build ourselves a power forward. You guys might be like, why aren't you making a center? Well, I think the power forward position is going to be elite this year. As you can see, the badges you get as a power forward post scorer is brick wall, bruiser, dreamlike up and under, post spin technician, and drop stepper. Uh, the brick wall is going to be a huge advantage as a badge because not all guards are going to have pick dodger meaning guys are gonna get stuck in the screen a lot so once you pick out your uh, post score you wanna max out his height at seven feet uh, you wanna get his wingspan to you wanna keep his wingspan to about 87.7 and for his weight you definitely wanna max it out to 315 so your strength and box out and contact dunk is all the way up your width we're just gonna max that all the way up to the top you're gonna make him left-handed number doesn't really matter alright guys these are the stats for the power forward post score I made here and the reasons why I choose this over the center build is the standing layup itself I mean not the, the standing layup the driving layup and the driving dunk there are each 10 points higher than a seven foot like center seven foot three centers um, layups and dunks so that's one advantage of picking up a, a power forward here is it like your layup and dunks are higher your mid-range shooting is at a 77 that's what the arm length I picked if you would like to make midget arms you can get to you can um, get your jump shot to an 80 plus I think it would max out at an 81 mid-range I wanted a little bit of arm length so I left it at a 77 and if you join sunset or and they have that boost you get plus 5 shooting or if they don't have that boost this year you still get that plus 5 added on boost when you buy the park boost so that would bump it up to an 82 which you can easily green light open mid ranges with an 82 jump shot the three-point shooting isn't really great at all. It's a 55. Don't expect to shoot threes with a post score, but you can definitely hit mid-ranges. And your post scoring game is insane at a 70, not a 70, <laughs> a 94 everything. Post hook, post fadeaway, post control. And let me tell you, if you do some post hooks and post fadeaways, you will be getting a lot of greens, a lot. The agility, like I said, speed doesn't really matter, but another advantage of a power forward over a center is the speed. You do get like plus 10 speed acceleration in your verticals even more than if you choose a center. A st the strength, you get a 94. The rebounding, you have a decent rebounding as a post scorer. I mean, you're not a glass cleaner, so you have a 76 on offense and defensive rebounding. Just make sure to position yourself to get the rebound and you won't have to worry about rebounding the playmaking you're a center playmaking's you know it's enough to not have you throw the ball out of bounds and your defense is great here your lateral quickness for defense is a lot better as a power forward than a center and that's why again I would choose a power forward over a center but guys, this was the build of my big man, but I think it's a great build. You get a little bit of more speed and more layups and dunks versus a center. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the seven foot power forward post score. And make sure you guys drop a like down below for me. But that's all I got for you guys today. I'm Neo and I'm out.